Hi guys, so are you ready to draw with me today? So today I'm going to draw a fun drawing. It's going to be a button. So I hope you like it and it's going to be very, very easy. Um, and I'm also going to just be using my color pencils, the Faber-Castell color pencils. Um, and I hope you like it. And if you want to draw this with me and send me your drawing to get featured in my next upcoming video, you can send it to my Facebook or my Instagram accounts and connect with me there as well. And all that information is in the description box below for you. So I hope you connect with me and uh, draw this with me. It's going to be very, very easy because it's a simple button and along the way I will give you some fun facts as well so while we draw you can learn a little bit about buttons and um, like random facts and if you are new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to get a video every single day because I release a video every single day for you as you can see these drawing ideas are very very easy drawing ideas that you can do in five to ten minutes so enjoy so the button that i'm drawing today is a round button with four holes but there are other button types as well and mainly they are used on clothes and sometimes they are used for a purpose to actually uh, put the cloth together but sometimes they are just decorative so um, I'm sure everyone who's watching this knows what a button is so I'm not going to explain what a button is um, but I will give you some fun facts about buttons and I hope you find this drawing realistic and cool uh, a cool drawing to draw and I hope you really draw it with me and if you're liking this video don't forget to hit that like button down below and leave me a comment as well and if you know any fun facts that you would like to share about buttons don't forget to leave a comment and let me know So as you know, buttons can be used in many other products as well, not just clothes for decorative purposes and uh, for bags as well uh, and uh, just on fabric. Uh, the oldest known button relic was found in modern day Pakistan in Asia and is believed to have belonged to the ancient Asian civilization of the Indus Valley dating back to almost 3000 BC. Interesting, right? They found a button in Pakistan. And buttons were used for the purpose of decoration or fastening fabric that was used for clothing in ancient China, ancient Rome, and also ancient Greece. And like I said before, they come in all sorts of shapes uh, I've seen many, many shapes, even triangular ones, square ones, and round ones, uh, different shapes. Um, but traditionally, they are circular, like the one we are drawing today. Uh, but there are so many other types and shapes as well. So if you're wondering where I'm getting this information from, I'm just reading a website called tinrandomfacts.com. And uh, you, if you want to see the same uh, facts and uh, fun facts about buttons, you can also uh, read from this website as well. I'm not sponsored by the website. I just found it and then I uh, decided to read and uh, I found some fun facts on it. And seashells, bones, horn, metal, and wood were used to craft buttons in ancient times. However, in modern times, they are generally made of plastic, though shell, wood, and metal are sometimes used. I've seen shell ones. They, they're pretty nice because they have those uh, different kinds of shades, like lines on it. Pretty cool. And it's different to the touch as well, like a little stone. And I've seen uh, stone ones as well. It's pretty nice. 
let me know if you have an, a product like a t-shirt or like a clothing material or a backpack with a weird type of button and what it's made out of and uh, how it looks like in the comments below I would love to know and so going back to the drawing you see that it's coming together nicely so I'm adding a little black to the background to make it pop out um, uh, you can do the same um, or you don't have to I just wanted it to look a little realistic so I just added a little background so it kind of pops out of the page so you can do the same and you can pick any color that you want as you know buttons come in many different colors as well so along the way if you need good color pencils and our supplies check the description box below so you can see that I'm also using prism color color pencils I find them good for shading because um, they have like a thick layer that applies and uh, Faber-Castell is great for like defining lines I find. So um, those are the two main color pencil types that I'm using today. And to give you some fun facts about, uh, more fun facts about buttons, the first predominant modern use of button originates in Europe around 13th century possibly in France or Germany and they quickly became popular as did the newly invented button hole um, buttons are typically secured to an object with thread either through the holes on the top or in the shank hidden underneath the invention although some are reverted um, I'm not going to go too much into detail on how a button works. I mean, I'm sure all of the people who are watching this video knows how a button actually works. So the next following facts about buttons and button history comes from the website theredheadwriter.com. Um, it has some interesting facts so I decided to read from that website as well. So in 2600 to 1500 BCE buttons were used at, as ornamentation instead of as fasteners. And by the 13th and 14th century, buttons were widespread throughout Europe. During World Wars, the British and US military used button lockets, which were buttons constructed like lockets to store compass, compasses. Interesting, I didn't know that. there are so many different kinds and this website really has like close-up pictures of different kinds of buttons they look really nice some of them looks like pearls and uh, flat buttons lie flat and half holes through them the thread is sewn through the holes to attach the button to the fabric most new sewing machines can sew the button itself uh, to the fabric um, you don't have to do it by hand. And there are shank buttons, stud buttons, covered buttons. Sometimes you cover it with the same fabric. So there are so many buttons. And now since we are almost done with the drawing, I will show you the full color drawing. So this is the full color drawing of the button that I drew. I hope you really like it. If you do, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment for me. And if you have any requests, don't forget to let me know by commenting below. And if you want to buy products with this button on, I have so many products in my Redbubble shop. Check the description box below for the link uh, to go to my shop website. And now I will put some next videos for you to check out next. I hope you like them as well. And don't forget to hit on my face logo to subscribe to my channel because I release a video every single day. You will not miss out. 
and uh, I hope you really enjoy my channel and my videos and uh, if you have any suggestions let me know and I will see you tomorrow I hope you have a great day bye